Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and today I'm going to show you how to engrave glass using any diode laser here. In today's video we're going to be using the We Create Lumos for this example here. Before you get started, make sure you have your little cutting tray put into your machine. Otherwise you're going to engrave right onto the machine's bed like I did right there. And you'll see that later on in this video. I always forget to do that whenever I go with glass. I don't do it too often. But I'm going to show you that in this video here. We're going to show you how to prepare the glass for engraving on a diode laser here. You do have to do something special to make it work. And then I'm going to show you it engraving. And then we're going to show you washing it off and preparing it for your final project here. We're doing a picture frame today. So with that said, go ahead and put this into your machine to start. And then we're going to prepare that glass and we're going to engrave it. So let's get into this. So let's talk about how you're going to prepare your glass for laser engraving on a diode laser in the first place here. So what you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol like this. The 70% seems to work really well. And you're going to need an old rag that you don't care about. You're going to apply that rubbing alcohol to your rag. And then you're going to wipe your glass completely down of any dust, debris, or oils. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to use praying washable paint here. Make sure it's the washable praying paint here that is black in color and what we're going to do is we're going to use a foam brush and we're going to apply that all throughout the glass here in even coats. You can go up and down, left to right. Um, two layers should be fine but make sure it's thin. If you have like a paint sprayer you could do this as well and get in more even coat and it would turn out even better but we're going to just use a brush for this example here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just open this up and then apply some uh, you can apply it to your brush itself or you can just kind of dab some on there like this and uh, we the reason why I got two pieces of glass here is one's gonna be my test piece and then one's gonna be for the main settings here and then we're just gonna kind of coat this entire glass completely and uh, make sure it's as even as possible if you have to apply more you can apply more that's fine um, you're gonna see some actual like streaks in between it. That's okay, too uh, The more the less streaks that you can get the better So like I said if you use the actual paint sprayer that's gonna work a whole lot better than this Here, but uh, this is how you can get a good even coat and you can apply more like I am here As much as you need here just to get a nice even coat here, and I'm gonna go the other direction now Now, is that perfect? Probably not, but that's okay. As long as you have it completely coated, we're gonna go ahead and see how it turns out here. We're gonna do the same thing with this glass over here. So we're gonna just kind of brush all this together. There we go. So I ran over this, the first one one more time, and then the second one turned out great. I think this is gonna work really well. This is gonna be my main one here. So we're going to go back down to the lasers here. We're going to go ahead and start this up with a test engraving on this one. And then I'll probably just show you the final engraving of what it'll look like once you have the right settings. And then we'll talk about the settings that I use as well. And then this is going to be how you prepare the laser to uh, engrave on like a diode laser for your glass here. Um, other than that, uh, let's go ahead and jump down to the laser and we'll get started. First up, you're going to see me do the test engraving here with a test grid, and then right when it gets to about here, it started to crackle, so I stopped. And then you're going to notice me pull this out of the machine, and since I don't have that cutting tray on there, uh, it engraved onto the actual tray. As you can see me try to rub that off, it's not going to come off here. Uh, I went ahead and did a final memories test with the cutting tray on there. And then I put the photo frame onto my final piece here in order to align up where I need the word memories in my photo frame. And uh, you're going to see the final results here as it engraves. Now comes the time that we have to wash this off. So you can either soak it like this or just get your rag damp and then wipe it off. It works great either way. This stuff is super washable. That's why you want to make sure you have the washable kind here. And then you can just do like a dry pass with the rag here on the dry side of the towel, and then it'll look great here. So this is just real clip, uh, 
quick look and then I'll clean it up off camera. And there you guys have it. That is how you engrave on glass with the WeCreate Lumos or any other diode laser like any of the WeCreate lineup, for example. And if you're wondering what this white border was that we had earlier, it's the inside of this picture frame here where we put the word memories. Now, if you want the word to be on the inside of the glass, make sure you mirror your image. On this case, it's gonna be on the outside of the glass so you can actually feel it with the texture. Um, this is gonna be a digital picture frame here. It turned out great. The settings I ended up using in the end result was 100 power, 150 speed, and 200 lines here. So that turned out great with the We Create Lumos. Your machine may be different, and that's why you wanna run a test grid like I did here. The one thing that you want to remember that I did not remember to do, and I, I often do this on accident with glass, because I don't do glass very often, is put the cutting tray underneath the little slats. That way it doesn't engrave onto the actual metal bed like it did in my example video here. But you do wanna run a test grid on a throwaway piece of glass here so you can get the settings that you want. Um, I originally went with this settings right here because this settings down here started to crackle a little bit and I didn't really want that. And then I did a test print here, so I just slowed it down just a little bit. And that's how we ended up with the 100 speed, or the 100 power, 150 speed, and 200 lines right here. Overall, that looks great. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and we'll catch you guys in the next one.